So. I have. Uh, I'm not going to call anybody out by name, but I have caught one of my friends <clears throat> digging and eating. Eating on stream, yes. A streamer friend. Dude, yes. The hell's dude. Yeah, hey, oh, dude. No, no, no. I'm not, I, I, I can't do that. Dude. I can't, I can't, on, you can't just not. You got to Who's the burger yeah. eater? I can't spill do the that. beans. Come on, bro. Come uh, maybe, on. maybe off stream. Mama raised a bitch. But uh, oh. I'm not. Yeah. No, no. He, okay. he raised a loyal friend, and that, that's not gonna straight out embarrass him like that. I'm trying to think of who it could be. Send it in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> I need. Then you'll some, stay it on the stream. I need some no. dirt. That's the whole point. <laughs> the new G Fuel, French fried flavored. No, the new G Fuel. It's it's Coke boogers. So Jay, when do y'all start? So your mouth goes when numb you go when back. you eat them. <laughs> yeah. Last, teachers went back. Not last Ooh. Friday. The Friday before, kids were last Thursday. Yep. Mm. That's when yeah, you guys got that text. Our, We're our at the end of the month. Start tomorrow. Yeah. I think our start right. the 10th. Yeah, I think I set the record for uh, fastest uh, parent complaint, though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, sh no shit. <laughs> I got this text already. Yep. Was it the wow. hair? You didn't even have school day yet? Day one. No. Oh, no, uh, no, we started Thursday. It was actually a day one complaint. Uh, my VP talk to me uh the second day i'm like on the way out he goes hey i'm like oh shit <laughs> got the finger come here real quick oh <laughs> like i just a brand new like to our site and stuff and i'm just like dude it's friday what what did i he goes how's it going i was like good i think he goes nah it's fine okay so we're just doing procedures. That's it. We don't have books. We're not getting books to Wednesday, which sucks because I wanted to start Monday and go. Now I have to make up shit for two more, two and a half more days to figure out what we're doing. But anyway, so we're just doing procedures. We're like, go out to PE, should get in the on the court, do our stretches outside. And they're like, hey, we want to run the mile. We're like, no, we're not doing that. You don't even know where to go. We have combo kids that came up from last year that did a lot of stuff with us and forth so we're like hey they want to do the mile show them the lap just one big lap around the yard and that's it and we're like okay there's like 90 kids out there just chill walk jog if you want to run you can you don't have to just one lap just look so you know where to go 90 kids out there two kids sprint halfway across this lap they're coming straight at i'm like how do you not like think it's you guys are sticking out like a sore thumb. The only two running through the middle of the field. So we're like, all right, keep going. You you're doing a whole nother lap. Keep going. But my side hurts. Nobody told you to run. We told you to walk. So go walk. And the complaint was you made my kid run when when his side hurt. No, I didn't. <clears throat> Dude. They were dudes, weren't they? They were uh, you know, young boys, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, one, no, I didn't. Two, if he's hurting after half a lap, that he didn't even do half a lap. He got essentially he was a quarter and cutting across. I'm like, yeah. he needs to run then, but they I didn't were, make him run. They were showing off and then complaining that their side hurt. Yeah. Mama raised a bitch. Oh, she had. <laughs> Apparently there was two complaints uh, from him, but from the same kid. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one wasn't about me; it was about another kid. But oh, oh. I'm like, okay. But yeah, I'm like, damn, that was quick. It's gonna be a fun year. <laughs> I wonder if he was embarrassed in front of all the girls he was trying to impress. Yeah. Well, deserves it. Edmund was like, he's probably trying to get ahead of the game. He thought since you guys were, he was in trouble for cutting the lap that you would call home. I'm like, I'm not calling home for that. Like, That's silly. Just do another lap. You got I don't think, other year. than like a physical fist fight, I don't think a PE teacher has ever called home. I, oh, I, I don't mean, even think if they get hit, they run into the basketball. Yeah. Pull or whatever the the get the, hurt head first, then we got a call. But yeah, nothing like yeah. it's like calling home for day one. Nah, <laughs> one of my first medical and like 
you definitely got a concussion was me running into the brick wall playing basketball in the gym. Oh, no shit. Trips. Let's not talk about head injuries. We used to play floor hockey <laughs> in gym class and when I was in high school, and I loved it because I was, I was kind of good at it. And um, it was just with the ball, you know what I mean? So I had yeah, you know, yeah. a hockey stick with the ball, and this guy, he was, he was about the same – height and size is me he made it he may have had me by a few pounds but we were playing and like the bleachers in the gym are up so we're playing running back and forth i kind of bump him a little check him you know just a little bit and he bumps the bleachers and then all of a sudden like i'm i got my stick here and i'm holding right and like all of a sudden he's like you want to go motherfucker he threw his stick down and just fucking clocked me in the face dude I got a I got a scar on my eyebrow from it, a boxer cut, um, and I was like, "No, man, I don't want to fight you," you know. And he'd already hit me once, and I'm like, "I don't want to fight you, man. We're just playing fucking hockey." And then this other dude comes flying across the gym, like grabs him, and he's like, "You need to go to the to the bathroom. You're bleeding all over." And I was like, "What the fuck?" So I go in there, and my literally look like fucking Carrie, dude, just blood, just <laughs> covering my whole face. <laughs> That was my uh, my head injury. <laughs> I went to the doctor that day, got six stitches, and then went back. Came back to school. It was pretty silly. And that Wait, guy you, tried you to went back to school. Yeah, went back to school. He tried to. He, he didn't like. He didn't concuss me or anything. He just split my skin. It was right on the bone. Right. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like a hit that like knocked me over or down or dazed me or anything. It just. It just cut me open. That's why I was like yeah. standing there, like, "What the fuck, dude? I don't want to fight you." The eyebrow ridge. It's yeah, it was to... the eyebrow ridge. Yeah. Yeah. See, easy I got. Cut. I literally have a scar right here on my eyebrow too. Yeah. And that was that's the one time a, like, a slide. I got cold cock basically. I didn't see it coming, man. I was like kind of turned a little bit, and I just felt something hit my head. I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Yeah, I, I only came back to school to impress people. You know, that's it. Oh, of course. <laughs> I <laughs> stitches. I avoid face. hockey when we do PE, teaching it because the first time I did it, like, all right, they have, the sticks are like two feet tall. They're not long because you know I got little kids or whatever. So, mm -hmm. and I'm like, all right, so one thing you don't do, you're not swinging it like a back. You got to keep it down below your waist. There's yeah. you're not going the slap shot. There's none of that happening because it's just a ball and that's there and whatever. And I'm like, all right, make sure you don't whop right across the face. Didn't see it coming. I'm looking this way, just smack. I'm like, yep. what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> like, no high sticking penalty box. <laughs> I'm like, damn it. Try it. Just smacked in the face and trying not to lose my shit. Because you know you don't know, I don't know where it came from. I just assumed it was a stick, but yeah, that shit hurt. Yeah, can't see chat from here. I had fun, man. I had fun playing floor hockey. That was a good time. My first floor hockey experience. I try. I was playing goalie, and I tried to thought it was similar to soccer. So I grabbed the little ball and I chucked it across the field to my teammate. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, no, no. The ball stays on the ground regardless. Can we just See, talk? What? I was saying, can we just talk about the fact that Merck just said she picks, picks her scabs? Her scabs. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, look, here's the deal. I pick my just own scabs. Eat them. I mean, I pick saw, mine, but only oh. when they're lifted and like they can like break off and like still oh. leave it covered, not bleed. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, man, I'll pick the scab and then it'll bleed right back over again. No. You just create scars. I mean, it's just a battle wound. Uh, yeah, scars. <laughs> battle wound. Scars are, creates character, man. From picking scabs. You show yeah. me a man without a scar besides their belly button or circumcision. Oh, dude. I'll show you somebody that's boring as fuck. Wait, you want to see that? Gold member. Was it gold member where he picks a scab and puts it in a box? See yeah. It later. <laughs> yeah. It's therapeutic. That's disgusting. Do you no, know yeah, that? Look, we're, we're just going to walk over right. the fact that he said that? if he doesn't see the circumcision scar, he's got a problem. 
Wait, no, wait, I did not see that. I said, show me a man that doesn't have a scar besides their belly button or circumcision. Because those, oh, okay. those are two scars like, that everybody has, pretty much. <laughs> then I will show you a man that is a boring person. Because they like scars build character. Like You can't have fun and not get scars. Tr sorry. For the most part. You can have fun and not get a scar. Oh, well, of course you can. But like your entire life not getting a single scar you didn't have any fun uh woodworking is a lot better when you don't get scarves this is true yeah usually those yeah. result in limbs missing well, my shop teacher up. my it's... shop teacher was missing uh a portion of his like ring finger small portion i don't of know that. i had a, I I had a neighbor a that was missing, or something. i don't know missing part of his ring finger but he worked in a mill and he got it caught in between the mill mm -hmm. stones in the millstones? Yeah. Dude, there is a picture. I don't know if you guys um like I work on aircraft and you 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 have to take rings off and shit. Like you can yeah. you yeah, should yeah. not wear rings because what happened is if you With get that any caught, moving parts. If you well, yep. even in stationary parts, if you get that caught and let's say inside of a panel or something behind a part oh, and yeah. you go to step down off of a ladder, like you can completely deglove your finger. Like, yes, I've seen that. As in, like the skin comes skin. off. Yeah, there's I've pictures. Seen it none, of, we have safety. Was... We have safety posters of that shit up everywhere. Like a fucking bone and like a finger sitting next to it and a ring still on it. I'm like Jesus. Yeah, Christ. I've seen that done, but it wasn't because of a finger. It was a uh, a horse bit down on this lady's thumb and just just like a fucking chicken wing just sucked yeah. all the meat off of it. Jeez. You know what? She's she's fucking lucky that she still has yeah. at least a bone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like horses got some chompers, man. Well, the the lady that used to cut my hair or whatever, like, I get a random fucking phone call one day, and she's like, "Hey, I gotta reschedule you," and I'm like, "The fuck?" And so I go in like a month later, finally, and she's got this big old fucking like bandage, and I'm like, "What happened?" She goes, "A horse bit my finger off." I'm like, "How the fuck Jesus. did a horse <laughs> bite your finger?" She goes, "Well, I was drinking," and I'm like, "That's how every great story starts." <laughs> Hold my beer. Yeah. I would pull no, up she the was picture. Literally, but, oh, she, she was, she it was literally like, looks like a it. cartoon. Like if you think like a cartoon of how they would draw like a finger being ripped off and leaving the bone in, in place, it, that's exactly what it looks like in real life too. Oh yeah, what the hell? <laughs> like it saying? looks like like a skeleton, but like a cartoon skeleton just sitting there. Uh, no, this chick, she was, she after I think she was in Shiner, Texas, or something like that, or whatever. There was some festival or some shit going on. And it was one of the cop horses, and she was petting it or whatever. And then she put her hand on it, and a damn thing bit her finger off. And I was like, that's Jesus. pretty fucked up. Yeah, was, yeah, uh, my, my, you don't ever trust a horse, the front end <laughs> or the back end. There was a uh, guy uh, I know that we also just another air, airplane mechanic story because they're fucking gruesome sometimes. But they get we sucked use, up. No, we use lock wire on certain bolts. Depending on what it is, it's a lock wire that gets twisted up and locked to another bolt head to keep it from turning and loosening out. Well, uh, this wire, when you clip the end of it, it's like 32 thousandths of an inch, and so it's pliable steel. And when you clip it, it creates a point on the end because you're using a pair of like diagonal cutters, or we like to call them dikes, but that's not quite politically yeah, correct anymore <laughs> so mechanics world they're called dykes um and it creates a, a sharp point and i have stuck one of those into my finger before oh and yeah it, it's it's like like a fish hook but there was a guy i knew who fucking got it through two fingers dude two that's that's impressive like, i've gotten one about halfway into a finger before and this dude got it through one finger and into another and out the other side dude Please tell me he got drug tested. <laughs> I'm like, his pain receptors what, were not working right. What, yeah. What about the first finger that went through that told you to, yeah, fuck it, just keep going? <laughs> Jesus. Other dude. than other than shoving my fingernail out the back of my finger, my oh. worst work work injury was I was installing pool tables and the leather pockets. We would take a electric stapler and we'd staple them to the to the pool table. Yeah. And I somehow, I don't know how, I was holding it, holding it up, the tab Thank up, and I yep. went to went to staple it, and somehow that staple ended up 
a quarter inch. It was a half inch staple and a quarter inch of it was in my knuckle, my pinky knuckle. <laughs> and I had to like reach down and like pull it out and I could feel it just <laughs> in the bone. Yeah. Just, oh. oh yeah. Yeah. That's funny. It reminds me. Right into the knuckle. We used to have stapler fights in my shop all the time. We open the yeah, stapler we used to do that and yeah. slap people with it. Yeah. Yeah, we used to do that in high school. We still, like, no teacher's staplers were safe from us, man. We still, every stapler we come across and just Jay's throw like, out our friends. Jay's like, you're the motherfuckers that I hate in school. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I was, take, you're right. Go ahead, I was. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I, nah, I used to take the fucking safety pins and I would just, like, stick them through my finger. I used to do that with my tongue, <laughs> Like, too. under the skin and stick shit? Yeah. Under the skin and then, uh... Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I used to take like a Country Time lemonade in a can. I did that because I figured it wasn't gonna explode it when I opened it because it's not carbonated. But I would rub the can until it like a, just a Hold pinhole on. would would appear. Do Go that ahead. again. How'd you do it? <laughs> rub the can. <laughs> I would rub the can until like just this pinhole would would happen and it would squirt everywhere <laughs> that's what she said so you'd rub the can until it squirted everywhere yeah oh, okay ladies <laughs> okay so like, girl you about to get this dick <laughs> all right so and then i would go mm -hmm. and once you opened it like this it would stop it would it was fine you could drink it, it wouldn't drip out or nothing. Did you have to wait but, like uh, ten or fifteen minutes to do it again? No. No, okay. because because it was under pressure when it was closed. <laughs> <laughs> you had to recharge. But I would go around and squirt people with it. This is so bad. We can't even listen to a real story scale. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I mean interrupting you with dumb shit. This is bad habit. Bad habit. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's it's great. Come on, Jay. You don't have to be teacher like you know. You want to laugh? He's in teacher mode, full teacher mode right now. Yeah, he is. No, I'm good. You <laughs> see? <laughs> but I'd walk up behind somebody and just hit him with it, and then they'll be like, "What the?" Hell? You know, looking around, you can't tell it was me. You know, I'm just sipping my fucking country time. Mm. I do like country time lemonade, bro. I could chug a whole can, easy. Mm -hmm. I bet you could without even fucking <laughs> without even shotgunning it just <laughs> down the straight, gullet huh? straight uh, <laughs> you just like to open that throat don't you no no I, I, I'm i I'm a guzzler <laughs> I, gu I gulp it down I don't I don't let it slide on in you know oh. nah, that's not me <laughs> that's what she said Oh, what it, it, this is what happens when Ashley's not around, y'all. Oh my god, this is what happens when Ashley is around. Let's be honest, this is true. Yeah, and normally she starts it. <laughs> that's she okay. is the one that's been starting it. She's We're talking about amateur subjects. I, it, it was probably last week, maybe two weeks ago. One of the most viral videos on YouTube was a man narrowing his butthole. Oh, yeah, we talked about this very brief, yeah. briefly few episodes ago yeah that, that just sounds horrible because nair burns did you click on the link no i never did oh fuck it it's horrible i never seen it it's fucking horrible oh, i was like good. no way no way i click on it and it just the beginning scene Whoa, is why a butthole and the back of his nuts and he's like spreading nair on it with his other hand because you're allowed to show nudity on YouTube if it's educational. And he was teaching people how to nair your butthole. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me see how many views this has. Let me just look. Oh, no. Merck, I, we're not blaming Ash. We're stating facts is what we're doing. Yeah, what you're, yeah, what you're seeing is what, what men really talk about when there is no estrogen in the room. Well, I mean, hers is getting shut off, so, I mean... When when there's a lack any. of fallopian tubes... She doesn't have those either. <laughs> ah. Oh, don't search up nair hair butthole removal. <laughs> 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 there, 
So yeah, yes, Nair, it does hurt, <laughs> and, and like any orifice that like, it can get into you, even like your nipple glands, like it it can fuck you up and hurt horribly there's, bad. There's so don't do that, ladies and gentlemen. There's a video of how to shave your vagina and butt butt crack with pictures, and it just has full frontal nudity. Fantastic. It's called the uh... on YouTube. <laughs> no. Oh uh, yeah, YouTube. Oh, no. YouTube. You went straight yeah. to Google. Oh, okay. YouTube. Yeah. Kevin Leonardo. That's the one. No, no. Nair you spell YouTube. You, you spell YouTube. Y O U T U B E, not P O R N H U B. It's going on the hub. You or Red Tube? You didn't do Red Tube, right? No. No, I didn't. Okay. Do, I don't know what that is. Oh my god. Yeah, it's another porn site, yeah. Oh. I personally I personally prefer X hamster. That's for people who have a pet hamster that dies and it's like a support no. group, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. They they had an X hamster. <laughs> you don't look thrilled with this conversation, bro. I'm trying to figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did they nair their hamsters? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I wonder what a bald hamster looks like. A rat? A naked mole rat? Taxidermy? I'm looking. I'm looking that up. We're we're gonna show that on stream. What is a bald? <laughs> oh God! Hamster? Oh my God! It's like a fucking alien. It looks like a fucking bro. There's a bear. Bunny too. Here, pull that up. We're looking at bald I hamsters am, now. Have you ever got? If you guys want to see what a bald hamster looks looks like, definitely tune in. That looks like a capybara. Yes, it does. That looks like a naked scroll mole rat or my ball sack. <laughs> scroll One down just a little my bit. My ball sack with ears. Look at the one that's third row of number five. Yeah, yeah. click yeah. on that. Look at that fucking thing, dude. Yeah, that's that one looks like my nutsack. <laughs> it's got eyes. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's Jesus. uneven. Jesus, it's uneven at the bottom. No, I'm See, just saying that's what one down. of my sacks looks like. Just one side. Wait, how many sacks do you have? Three. Nice. <laughs> one per hernia. He's got yeah. one ball. We call him Uno. <laughs> this is what his sack <laughs> looks like after after his vasectomy. Oh my god. Nice face. This thing is hideous, dude. <laughs> yeah, it is. We're actually looking at hairless hamsters, not tuna's ball sack. <laughs> there, there, it is. There it is. This is there's my ball sack right there. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Pretty <laughs> freaking even. That's a straight line. <laughs> Put a laser level on that. It would be perfectly. Yo, it's magical. Those cheeks are definitely. It looks like together. a super tiny pig. It has fucking red eyes too. That's what gets me. Red eyes, bald. Okay, rats that actually don't have. Cute. Don't that have almost. Red eyes. It's cute. just the picture. Oh, it's like that weird picture eyeball reflection thing. Yeah, yeah. I can go get one of the rats. I'll show you the color of their eyes. Dude, look at a a fucking bald rabbit. That looks like Master Splinter before the ooze, right there. <laughs> Merc, y'all had to compare it to your ball sex. Now I'm disturbed. <laughs> look at a um, look at a ball okay. rabbit. That that looks like uh, uh, with the red beard. I'm I'm gonna guess that looks like AG's right there. That guy has yep. a dull razor. <laughs> That's somebody's been uh forgetting the manscape for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. The lawnmower 4.0. There's the bald bunnies are hilarious to look at too. Bald rabbit. I was about to say you might be very you might want to be very careful of <laughs> what pops up. That's look Master at, Splinter right there. The second that is row, Master Splinter. Yeah, yeah. Second row. The yeah, first one. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> that's fucking Master Splinter right there. That is. <laughs> and then you got the fucking alien one right down below. Um, I'm not okay, just to be safe because bald bunnies can still kind of be in the realm of unsafe. I'm not gonna scroll down anymore. This is okay. what we're looking at. Okay. Fair enough. 
it is kind of as he cute. scrolls down it is kind of yeah he scrolls right now he's like oh fuck. <laughs> i just i, I mean <laughs> play the lottery man it is kind of cute in a way <laughs> look at that one why does it, it why does that remind me of hulk hogan <laughs> <laughs> if hulk hogan was a rabbit bro, we need a yellow mullet on that thing what you gonna do brother when bunny mania runs wild on you <laughs> Rabbit's like ri- ripping his vest off. Ugh. That's a bald guinea pig right there. It's got to be. Facts. Oh god. Yeah, that's that's definitely a guinea pig. It's like those dogs. What are they called that are like fucking hairless and their tongue sticks out and their face is all cockeyed and shit? What is that? A uh... oh, that weird Chihuahua looking thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the Chihuahua. ugliest the dog on the ugliest planet. Dog. Thing? World. World's yeah. ugliest dog. Yeah. Oh my god. Bro, yeah. is that, that motherfucker from this planet? Yeah, that thing's not even <laughs> from this planet. Watch it has like some rare fucking deficiency, like, and we're making fun of it. We're animal ableists. <laughs> we're, we're horrible human beings. That there looks is, like a schnauzer. There, yeah, the dog is. Um, I can't remember the name of it, dude, but it's the world's ugliest dog. If you search that, I think it's a Chihuahua. No, or no, it's, it's not a Chihuahua. I my know cousin has about. like two of them. They're fucking hideous. Oh, oh, oh! We have to look up world's ugliest dude. baby. Dude, okay, okay, yes. What the fuck, bro? It looks like a fucking gremlin. That is Chinese the dog crested. version of this guy. Chinese crested, yes, Chinese yeah. crested. Yeah. That that looks like a gremlin. Yo, and that, that is that of... is the dog version of this dude. That's not no. But it, that dog's got my nickname. I'm I don't like that now. Your nickname's Chinese Crested. No, Scooter. Oh yeah. That dog is the the dog version of this dude right here. <laughs> Oh tell my me, God. tell me that's not the same person. <laughs> His tongue was sticking out. There's a reincarnation if I've ever seen one. Cobra, what? JFS. This is the oh. dude I, we were. T- remember when we were talking about the guy that was like, you know, when I fart at work and I don't want anybody else to smell it, I turn around quickly and sniff it up myself. Oh, yeah. This is the guy. Yeah, and we're actually. like, I don't know if we, I don't know if he's secretly a genius for that because like the. <laughs> Does farts have a sniff counter? Like, do they have like a number of sniffs? I don't think that works, man. I don't know. I don't think that works either. Or is he just like insane for being a, a fart sniffer? You should play I mean, that he's video. just inhale. He's just inhaling enough to get rid of the methane gas. Play, play that. Right, video. like, like Skep. Skep did have a fucking uh, a point, and he was saying that it is kind of getting filtered by your lungs naturally. You know, so why wouldn't? Why well, don't know. Video? And then you're getting fecal matter in your lungs. Bro, this dude has got so, so many videos. How is that like, different than any other time you take a shit? True. You, you got a point. I mean, unless you're a bit like a, a, a courtesy flusher on yourself. You know? Look at that a courtesy dog. Courtesy flush yourself. <laughs> I, sh- I should call her. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> that is a meat flap if I've ever seen one. So, girl, you're about to get uh, this dick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. This one's taking a shit on stage. Oh, never mind. What? You never ableist? Mind. He's has performed. Fucked up legs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He looked like he was <laughs> taking <ableist>. a shit. <laughs> as, I say, as I followed up with, he has fucked up legs. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck is number two right there? Bro, I don't know. That that's, that's not that's, real. That looks, dude. that looks like AI. That cannot be real. That looks AI too. But that's real. That might oh. be a doll. Nah, that doesn't I mean that's not it just looks like he's forty five. Facts. <laughs> All new ones this is a forty five year old baby. <laughs> That one doesn't look real. The the second one, that's my baby picture. What the fuck? Okay, we can't we can't be doing this, man. That, this is kind of fucked up, ain't it? Bro, they have an award. It ha- that one has an award. National Geographic award winning ugliest baby. Like, yeah, but not. that's on Reddit. That's not verified. Come on now. All right, well. Yo, the one with the red hair is dope as fuck. 
Yeah, you, you, that, that's a syndrome. It's like uncombable hair it's a troll doll. or some shit like that. It's like troll doll hair, bro. Nah, dude. My, my, his parents didn't fucking baby proof him. That kid stuck a fucking paper clip in a light socket. It's uncombable a hair kid, syndrome yeah. is a rare genetic condition that causes your child's hair to grow in multiple mm. directions. So it's like having a cowlick over your whole head. Yeah. I got two cowlicks. I have a lot. Basically, it back, looks like you've one in the front. Basically, it looks like you walk around with stuck your finger in a light socket all the time. Honestly, that's not a. I mean, the, their hair is like cool, kind of. You know, I, I honestly, yeah, it's. I awesome. kind of dig it, especially man. if you do like a mohawk with it. Well, I kind of dig. I guess it. Einstein had it. Yeah, they they think that Einstein had it, or he just didn't shower. <laughs> This is true. Bro, you imagine like if you had that and you were a punk, how much money you'd save on Elmer's glue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just like wake up with bedhead. Like, fuck yeah, dude. It stays that way forever. All right, we did the dogs. Let's do the cats. World's ugliest no, cat. No, 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 we no. No, don't. No, nope, we're not looking at the cat. Not at all. No. <sighs> I just are. thought about that. You pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to I'm gonna pre-vet this. Okay. Yeah, we'll I'm wait. looking at it right now. You I can turn it. safe safe search it's on. Alright, we're good. Here, I got it. I got it. Yeah, you're safe. Dude. See, it had to have been some hairless cat because those things are ugly. Dude, look at this fucker right here. Yo. He looks like he would like literally fuck you up. They look like gremlins. What this dude fuck? has the that that cat, that cat has, has the neck of a man that was like 600 pounds and then dude. dropped down to like 98. Dude, what the fuck happened to this cat? I think it has a cleft palate. Cleft like, palate? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so. I, I didn't know cats had that. Grumpy cat. Oh, was there's the best, Grumpy dude. cat. Uh... Grumpy cat was the best. Rest in peace. Hey, Grumpy that's cat. a demon. That, that is a fucking that chupacabra, is... bro. Yeah, chupacabra. <laughs> you know, they say there's a guy that goes on Joe, Joe Rogan's podcast all the time. He. he looks up like extinct animals and goes and finds supposedly extinct animals he thinks that the chupacabra is thylacine or the tasmanian devil really because there was there was a ship that wrecked on its way to i think the new york the bronx zoo mm -hmm. and it wrecked and it had two breeding thylacine animals on it male and a female and they escaped they never were found the so he thinks that they escape and they're Produced a whole thriving ecosystem of the Tasmanian dog, Tasmanian devils. Yeah. So Ashley wants one of these. Um, what is no, it called it's again? Yes, yeah, Tasmanian a, tiger. Tasmanian sphinx? tiger. Sphinx. Yeah, sphinx. Yep. Yeah. I mean, they have really bad dandruff. You have to lotion them all the time, bathe them all the time. Oh yeah. And they she have thinks he's two little fucking rugrats that we got for dogs. Our and pets stink. Right, oh. If you don't bathe them all the time, they those, stink. Those I'll just stare are... myself and be your pet. What? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are you be Are you going to be able to get rid of the ponytail, Jay? I don't think you're going to be able to get rid of the ponytail. No, sure. Hey, man. Before I shaved my head, my hair was down to my ass crack. Yeah, but it started at the I, top. Like this. Right here. What are you doing right now, Discord? I don't. <laughs> It started right here. No, it's was further back than that. <laughs> no, no, it's right here. Oh, okay. It's right here. Yeah, I can feel it. He's so, like, well, feel it, it started down here. Like, I can feel, right. like, some yeah. remnants of hair down here. But there, it, my hairline, like, actually starts here now. Mm. It's only oh. lost, like, an inch. <laughs> I mean, the ball. That hurts. means, that means well. a lot sometimes, you know? Bro, and depending on who you talk to. A lot. An inch hurts at 100 mile an hour. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can attest for that. <laughs> the angry inch. <laughs> uh, 
I didn't mean it like that. I meant being shot with a bullet. That's what I was. Yep, I got it. Okay. That's more, you know. Hmm. What I do on my free time is my own business. None of y'all's okay. So we're not talking about that part of it. I don't know. You told us a lot about what you do in your free time. This is true. <laughs> what do I do? I, uh, what don't you, I do? That's the I question. Yeah. I would think that pretty much you could, you could just start naming off stuff and you go, yep, 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 yep. Mm. Once. Probably. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> once. I try anything once, sometimes yeah. twice, just in, just in case I didn't. Uh, I might not have been feeling it that one time, the first time. You know, you gotta have it the second time, just in case. Yeah. Hey, Jay, did you get that new computer in yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. How's that thing? Good. It's sitting on my desk. I don't bring it out here because. Uh, I figured this one streams fine, so I might as well just video edit with that thing until this one takes a shit. So how well is it you... doing for the editing? Um, it's all right until fucking um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Premiere Pro decides it can't figure its life out, then mm. it gets hot as fuck. I bought a fan for it underneath it too, but oh, like it's good. Color. I mean, it's only only certain. I haven't figured out like only certain files it doesn't like it in mm -hmm. uh, Premiere Pro and it just slows it down and heats it up. But so far it's doing really well. Nice. Does it auto save yeah, periodically just in case it like you got to shut it down or whatever? Because I know like I use DaVinci Resolve and it will auto save periodically. Yep. So for whatever reason the program freezes or it doesn't like a certain audio f or file that I put into it and sometimes it gets a little laggy it'll just yeah. shut down but then when I open it back up it's maybe like two steps behind of where I was I don't know I, I haven't had it I've had it to where I'm just like alright I'm shutting it down and I don't open that one again because mm -hmm. I'll just try to different reload the file or something and see maybe yeah. it's a different I don't <laughs> know it's, sometimes it, it has trouble with putting the music in and I'm like, okay, I've used this one before. Why this time are you having issues with it? But, hmm. but overall it works pretty well. Yeah, That's absolutely. Awesome, Hell yeah. Yeah. I was, I, I was interested about, well, cause Color he was asking me about which can do it. The, the keyboards got all the, the different sections and the LEDs. I'm like, okay, that's not really necessary, but it's nice at night. It lights the whole damn thing up. If you know, I'm sitting there, can't sleep, so I'm like, I'm going to fucking edit a video, I guess. Mm. You know, do something <laughs> like that. But it's got a nitro mode, so you push the little button and it pops up, so you have all your graphics, all your stats for the computer there. Um, mm. Fan control, all <laughs> that. You don't have to download an extra app for it. I used to have to download, uh, I used to use, what was it, like an EVGA app or whatever it was. And yeah control the fan but you can you have three different modes you can add custom modes and all that stuff and mm. when you're flipping through the modes there's a little button that lights up that's a different color for which mode you're in oh nice so it's use... actually pretty neat i would run those fans wide open when you're editing msi center i run my fans wide open yeah yeah for I use, everything he's afterburner which works yeah. on a curve yeah. So it'll increase yep. fan speed with uh, heat. So the yeah, heat it's center yeah. is supposed to be all of it combined. Like everything for MSI, MSI center is like the mm -hmm. nitro, all of the apps that right. they had yeah. all in one. Yeah, well, it, it's auto so you could do well, but even on auto though, sometimes you gotta you gotta look Here's at what the actual what the auto settings are. Right. Yeah. Because a lot of the times computers are already pretty much like governor governed or whatever to not go over 80 percent fan speed or whatever right. so like in and and most computers quiet. yeah most computers you can go into the bios and do the same thing and not even have to have afterburner or anything yeah because that's what i did with mine <clears throat> like whenever mine gets up to a certain temp my shit runs wide open yeah i, I just like it because it's simple it starts up when i start up the pc i don't have to think about it or worry about it it works perfect i never have an issue yeah yeah that's the same thing that i do with mm -hmm. the bio stuff that's yeah, cool, man. Now you got a laptop, a nice little upgrade. Yeah, yeah it's dude. working. I got, yeah, I was like I said, I got the fan, and when when I hit it wide open, that shit cools down five degrees in a minute. 
It, yeah. yep. it drops. It's so good. And then I have a, I got another one that's got four fans or I got a, a cooler underneath it because mm. I don't want to always have to run those wide open. The cooler underneath it does the same thing on like 20%. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> With that, oh. that laptop being in your, your workshop, do you have anything protecting the screen or the, the keyboard? Yeah. From, a layer like, stains of, and a layer of sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> I use, I, 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 it's kind of woodworking, not really, but I repair and, and uh, restore antique dolls, and we do a lot of sanding, and and it's basically woodworking. Why and, does that uh, make sense? Because dolls are wood. <laughs> most of them, most <laughs> antique dolls are wood. He's saying for but, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it makes sense because it's basically what I do. I, I'm bro. sanding just like you're sanding. <laughs> I, oh, I guess you're sanding. It's creating and, you know, dust. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm filling yeah. holes the same way. <laughs> <laughs> the same you're feeling old um uh, yes sir okay no but, i get that but like i would i took a shower cut and i made a sleeve that slid over the the screen so it didn't get scratched or anything or uh overspray is what i was worried about paint overspray mm. and uh, the keyboard most of that stuff's for the dust it, yeah. so the the screen kind of held out over yeah. the keyboard too yeah, yeah. Jay was texting me. I think well, we went back and forth for what, like a week and a half, two weeks about a laptop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or whatever. And I was yeah. like, oh, was, bro, so. my I bought a laptop and the laptop I use to run my stream software and pretty much what I'm running Discord off of right now and everything goes through it. I bought it in 2020, I think 2019. End of 2019 is because I started streaming in 2019, so I think it was towards the end. And the thing has been. Perfect. It's been great, dude. You got a gaming lap, I'm, I'm assuming, right? Like a, like a laptop yeah, that has a, graphics card and yeah, and it's memory. got a what was it? A 3080 Ti, something like that. Yeah. Can't so yeah, which it, it was it was the last Acer, one I texted you, right? Yeah, the Acer? Acer Nitro Seven. Yeah. I got if you get a, a gaming anything, it's gonna be it's more gonna versatile anything, than any computer you're That's, you're gonna get. Yeah. That's what I tell people all the time. Look, if you're trying to do any kind of video editing or pictures, photos, whatever, like you need to get a gaming like PC or laptop. Oh, if yeah. you're just looking at email, that. like fucking get a web book. It's fine. You know? Well, the thing about it is, so here's the deal though, too. Like what a lot of people don't realize too is a, a freaking editing content takes more of a PC than it does to game on one. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, it's got a so he's got the Ryzen you, 7 7840, the yeah. 4060, 4060, and then yeah, That's and then you're looking at, yeah, and then I think I forget how much RAM this one has, but I no, that one's got the 16, and I told you to upgrade it. What? That one's got but the usually, 16 yeah, of RAM. Right? Usually, 16 is kind of base, and then you can bump right, them up to 32. But. Yeah. yeah, this one's upgradable. Yeah. Um, yep, That's, That's what I yeah, and and uh, mm -hmm. RAM. I think mine is 16, but I got a Ryzen 7 in it and a 1660 yeah. Ti. Yeah, it's 16 gigs of DDR5. Yeah, it's good, man. All right, right, hold on. That's what I used to. I used to stream and game off of 1660 Ti. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the laptop version, so it's not the same as like yeah, PC it's Tower. Cool. It's still powerful, oh, yeah, but it's not yeah. the same, so... Still, yeah, still I didn't very want to good. Bring it out here. This one's still working yeah. um, because I'll let this one take its shit. Uh, it's already got all the settings and stuff. So, what I'll do is back up all yeah. of that stuff. Save and your profiles and. When it switches or when this one takes a dump, then we'll switch over. Yeah. Been getting a lot more dusty out here lately. So, that doesn't <laughs> help. I'll have I to guarantee you. Figure once... out a box for it. Mm. That, that one, once that one takes a dump. You can send it to like a computer fixer, a good one, and it's it'll need cleaning out basically, just the dust pulling out because oh, yeah, it's just yeah. getting overheated and shutting down. Mm -hmm. Probably most of the time, yeah. If you're just running the, and I'll open it up. <clears throat> if you're just running like the same software you run on it for a while, like it'll continue doing that pretty well for a long time. Yeah, unless you're getting the the hard drive blue screen to death. Yeah. yeah. Like I have an uh, old Dell XPS that I bought over ten years ago, man. I think still fires up and still will run like Sony Vegas and shit on it. 
it still works pretty good. When people say like, yeah, you got to keep your PCs clean. You know, I blow mine out once a month, blah, blah, blah. I've seen an old Dell. <laughs> <laughs> you got to blow the dust out once a month, at least. <laughs> at least. Uh, I've seen an old Dell that you just bought a from, from fucking Walmart surviving a shop for 20 years with no upgrades, no no maintenance, no updates. So, I mean, yeah, a little yeah, dust in my PC is okay. Have you seen some of those? I I always stop and watch those videos when they pop as like um, pop up as somebody uh, cleaning like a PC. A customer sends a yeah. PC in, it won't start, and they take it apart, and it's just fucking crammed with dust and like other shit, have, and they clean it out. Rat, fucking, or not rats, but roaches. It's we it's had a wild day dude. one PS3. The big fuckers. Oh yeah, the, and the brick. Everybody's like, it's overheated. It's gonna do this. You're gonna get it. it it's just gonna be. You gonna get the light. We got the light eventually. And I was like, fuck it. It's three fifty or whatever. We had an. We had another one, but I was like, uh, we had the smaller one, the slim version when it came out. Mm. And I was like, I'll open it up. So what? what what's the? gonna hurt you know go down to radio shack when they existed and got some thermal paste open that bitch up and i was like you know i understand why it's uh overheating we had like a whole fucking cat worth of hair in there because her cat <laughs> yeah. would always lay on the damn thing oh yeah it is. well but that's what yeah, a lot of people did fan yeah that's what a lot of people didn't realize like with all these old consoles or whatever you have to clean them out because those things yeah. were the world's worst. Like the PS4 jet engine, like you were talking about, Rebel. All you gotta do is clean that bitch out, and it's it runs perfectly fine again. Yeah, that's that's Let's all see. that's wrong with the, like the NES too. Like if you kept it clean, you didn't have to do the blowing of the cartridge yep. and all yep. that. The one of them had, if you, I can't remember, if it was PS3. I think it was the Slim where they actually realized, hey, we need to figure out a feature for a fan. If you held it down, the power button. You held it down for like 10 seconds, it would do a 25 second blowout. Like, just turn yep. all the fans on full mm. speed and just poof. Did not like, know oh. that. <clears throat> it would reverse Pro the fans. Pro tip. Yep. For everyone. Yep. I have these. I don't do it. They're now. like, I have these like foam filter things on my PC tower. It's a fractal Me Meshify S tower. And behind the grates, it's a uh, it's very open and like airflowy and stuff, but there's these like foam, really thin foam pads that go in between the grate and the case itself that help filter out like larger particles. Pretty, well, see, pretty I, yeah, cool. that's pretty nice. It's that's what I have on. So on the top of mine, I have the magnetic one. Yeah. And then in front, I have that metal mesh. Yeah. Yep. It's a mesh that's in front of it and all and all i do is like i just i have a can of air sitting literally right here mm -hmm. and then you know about once a month or whatever i'll mm -hmm. yank my pc out and just take all the so i think i got what three yeah three of those little metal grates yeah i just blow them out on the back porch and i every time i open up my pc like there's rarely any dust in it man it's crazy yep. i mean those these, things work those great. extra filter things work phenomenal well I bought a little because uh, mine is sitting on the ground. Mm. Is where my PC yeah. is because yes. I can't I can't fit it on the desk. Mm -hmm. But what I did is I bought these little freaking um, for all of our PCs. It's just a little fucking rolly fucking thing like or whatever. Yeah, like a little rolly stand or whatever. Yeah, that thing has literally like I barely have any dust in that motherfucker now since yeah. I've done that. Dude, I found that just them. keeping it on the ground is horrible. Oh yeah, I have mine like, up on a shelf. Uh, that's like, but I had cardboard under it though. Like that's the thing. Like I didn't put mm -hmm. it straight down on the ground. I actually had a piece of cardboard under it. But then when I did that with the stand, it's great. Yeah, that's like the biggest. Yeah, because that's the biggest good. No, no, is putting a PC tower on the ground. Dust settles on the ground, and you know anything that's horizontal. So it's going to settle on the ground when you walk getting kicked up your pc is the first thing it's hitting down that low true <laughs> am i the I only one buying air cans yeah i, I got like a like mm -hmm. air thing yeah 
It's like a battery. In. Oh, plug it in. You plug yeah. it in. Yeah. Hmm. They're they're nice too, man. You can blow up air mattresses with them. Oh yeah, I got and one. Pretty of much I have a battery powered one. Bro, they're so good. Yeah, it's like a little way better than d- air duster. You don't have to look like a freaking meth addict when you go buy yeah, it. On there, hold on, I'll show you. Yeah, not like you're huffing air cans. Yeah. <laughs> Sucking on an air can. What are those called? Whippets or something like that? Yeah, yep. dust. They call they're called dust. It will. Remember now, people used to hit the CO two CO two things. Remember the um? Did you guys like? This is what I bought. Reebok back in the day, they came out with these things called the pump. The shoes. Oh yeah, yeah basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it had you could pump them, or you could get the fast inflator. It was like that's, a little CO two cartridge gun. Yep. Yep. You just Hold plug on. it in. Oh no! I just closed Discord. Nice. Hold on, let me close. I can, with tuna, close the screen. I'll bring yours up so we can see it. See. Oh hell yeah, that's cool. And just button here. Is it a vacuum or is it? No, like an air it's no, it's an air. Just a blower. Yeah. Air. It just blows. Yeah. Oh, nice. It has two settings. It's got a, a slow setting and then like a f- blow the fucking dust off a cooter. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, man. What? Yeah. Yeah, I have this little yeah, thing that takes like D batteries and it's for filling up air mattresses and shit, but it blows out a pretty good amount of air. It has a couple different fittings on the end. That'll work. Yeah. That would work Am I the I only one use air can, but... that puts trinkets and decoration in their PC cabinet? I don't. No. Like no. inside of it? Yeah. yeah you you can't even see my PC, so. I've Once got I a Captain desk, America bobblehead pop and a little... LED sign that says gamer. You mean in inside your inside, inside your case? the tower? In the, in the case, yeah, in the tower. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have anything in mine. Yeah, I, I, I made a anything. LED light for somebody to put in a case inside their case. Mine, it would be perfect. Like, I, I told Empty he needed to start doing it. You could probably do it too. But like a clear acrylic with like a sandblasted, you know, custom logo and gamer tag or whatever and but make it led to where you can plug into your your motherboard and it's a, also a support for your graphics card hmm. oh yeah that'd be legit that would be fucking phenomenal yeah, i have a ton of lights and shit in cobrits has has a. Uh, it's only like an inch like 1.2 inches tall and like hmm. Uh, 11 inches wide but it's it's tiny and it sits in there and the lights like you said the strips actually are for pc so mm. they just plug straight into the pc inside mine is one of your rgb opera ports powder, battery opera powder yeah. operated um, they're the the little little like two prong yep. guys little tiny black ones yeah mm. yeah it, it just plugs into your rgb yeah what's up mystic how are you? You're mine was battery operated, but I the batteries died and I was tired of like taking my case apart and putting mm-hmm. ba- new batteries in it. Yeah. So I put a LED strip that I got from Five Below and then I got on Amazon some uh little like clip on connectors that some of them were four prong or Oh yeah, the adapter. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So I put a strip on that and then plugged it in with one of those adapters. Yeah, I, don't, I, I didn't do nothing fancy. I just, that mine, I really just wanted something air-cooled, but I got seven fans on that motherfucker. Damn. Yeah, mine's not fancy either. I got five of mine. <laughs> they they do say, like, five. you have to make sure it's not... <laughs> It, you got to make sure, like, you have a negative pressure so it still mm-hmm. pulls in. Yeah. yeah. You want it to be as close to zero, really. <clears throat> yeah. I got three pulling in and two blowing out. And the two blowing out are above and right next to my CPU. So the fan, the wind has to go through my yeah. CPU. Yeah. It's mine. Mine is my front ones uh, pull the air in through the radiator and then. The back one and the two ones on top blow out. 
then there's the yep. PSU fan, obviously, but that's yeah. its own little spot. So I got well, like yeah, three so, going out and two going in. You'll see, that's what like a lot of people don't realize too is like when you do a radiator, you always want to do the radiator as an intake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, I mean, not an intake. Um, you want yeah, an intake, intake because you, you, want, you want to do an intake. So you put, yeah, so you do it in the front or yeah. whatever. So that's, so I have the, my radiator is a two fan mm-hmm. or whatever. So it's 240, but I have a third fan on top of it. And that's all the intake. And then my fucking outs, all three of them, four of them, I've got one in the back. Yeah. You can or make whatever. the intake <laughs> the top, but well, that's pulling in hotter air. Yeah, well, kind of because the hot air is rising. You always want to yeah. put it in the front because it's pulling yeah. from the. That's what I front. when I that's when I put my fans in my case. Uh, but I thought about it too, and I'm like, well, thermal is always gonna that that heat is always gonna rise up, and you want like a good airflow pattern going through your case. So back yeah. and up is pretty good because it goes over your graphics card and your CPU area and your motherboard, and then like pulls everything up and out. So, well, see, exactly. and my radiator is actually the lower two fans instead yeah. of the upper two. Mine are just—I think I have mine on a butt on top because there's like a covered space where the PSU goes on the very bottom. Oh, but, okay, yeah, but yeah, I, I have a cutout top. that'll fit my fan right there. Yeah, I could put a fan in, but I just had, I'd have to take the front cover off that little PSU. Uh, it's like yeah. a whole tray along the bottom that fits all the cables, the PSU, all that shit in it. Pretty handy little spot. Yeah, the back um, of my PC, like, let's not talk about fucking cable management. It's not there. <laughs> I just stuffed hey, that shit luckily, in and said, fuck it. Luckily, mine all falls behind like a dresser. Mm. So I don't have to. So I'm talking about inside the shit. case. Oh, oh my I, shit. Bo- my, the back of my case immaculate. bows out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like my I, SSD I took, isn't even connected to anything. It's just sitting on top of my PSU. I took a little time putting mine together, routing cables, zip tie in, and that kind of shit. Trying to, trying to. It's probably not the best, but you know, it's it's at least organized for the most part. I would say. Well, see, this is not the mine. second case that I've had, or whatever, and I spent time the very first time I did it, but the second time I was like. Fuck this shit. I'm not spending that much time. Nobody's going to see it. This is my second case, but it's basically mostly the same components. Um, I, I, what you can see is immaculate, but behind oh, yeah. that, that shield is yeah, no. a nest. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if you can't see it, I don't give a fuck. It's a hornet's exactly. nest. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you should see behind my desk. I can't. Mine used to be that way until I built this, this desk that I have now. And, uh, well, you probably did all that undermount shit. I got some uh, cable management tunnels that I mounted yep. along the back. There's like a whole metal uh, tray that the power strip can sit in. I have one cable that goes down behind one of the legs into the wall. Everything else is up in the cable management tracks. And dude, it's clean as fuck under there, man. It's It's kind of nice. It took a while to get all that shit routed, but... It's, you it's hella nice. It's horrible. Okay, this is what we really talk about when there's no... <laughs> <laughs> we just talk we about just fucking like fuck cable out. management yeah. and fucking heat thermal fucking transfusion and... Trans- <laughs> We're fucking boring. Is that what it is? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no, we just ordering. talk about like, like shit that we're oh, yeah. into. Like, like the female isn't into fucking... We're nerd stuffs, man. We like nerd stuff. Cable management and PC. Like, what? What's the op- optimal place to put your fans? Like, no. it, well, so what's when we were in Japan and we finally came out of the closet and um, started streaming a living room. Whatever, she was fucking nerding out over cable. Management. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you for clarifying. Um, yeah, clarifying. That, yeah, scenario. Everybody that's been following me for a long time knew that I streamed in a closet. Come well, on. Not, I, yeah, I saw it firsthand, too. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You saw my li- our little <laughs> hobbit. There's, there's new listeners. It was literally new viewers. The, yeah, you should, you should explain it, how, how it was, man. It was a fucking <laughs> a brilliant thing that you yeah. used the space for that. But So when we were in Japan, we lived in a little bit of a fucking 
condo style house, townhouse type thing. And where our stairs were, there was just a ginormous fucking closet. And I managed in Japan, the fucking furniture is tiny. So it worked out perfect. I got a desk and my chair, this chair actually, back in there. But then because Ashley's so tiny, she had a little table that was like, what, six inches high, I think, yeah. or whatever. And then she had a little floor seat or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she put her monitors down there or whatever. And she was literally sitting next to me. The only thing that separated us was a fucking towel rack and a blanket. Mm-hmm. And we were both in that fucking closet. And then finally I convinced her. I was like, babe, we need to like expand. That's when I bought a PC and all that shit. So then we came out of the closet. See, that's, that's amazing. Like Japan, like they use every single like inch of what they can use. You know, us, we turn that, that little space underneath the stairs. And I've seen people turn them into like dog rooms and stuff. Like, well, well- so it it had hanging space in it, but there, there was just dead space. It was yeah. what it's got like maybe eight feet of just fucking dead space. Yeah, and it was kind of a- angled. With the yeah, and it was angled with yeah. the stairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like Ashley had to fucking duck just to get into her little area. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. I think you guys probably had. She had to go in first, right? And then you went in. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she couldn't get out unless I had. Heaven forbid she had to pee. Uh, it, it, some, of the, that. <laughs> so, some of the some of the old uh, Twitch vods probably have her try to go to the bathroom at some point. Yeah, yeah, I remember. it got hot as fuck back there though. I could imagine that tiny little space. Well, and that, that, back then it was only we had the PlayStations mm-hmm. Still, or whatever. But then I had, and then our laptops that we streamed mm-hmm. from two people. Two laptops, yep. two yep. PlayStations in there, just, yep. just creating all these BTUs, man. Yep. Yeah, I forgot you saw that shit. Yeah, you guys showed it to me. Bro, that probably, that did get, that, that room probably smelled pretty, pretty ripe. <laughs> He's saying well, you stink. So, that, that no, was no, I'm not saying that. Like, yeah. Moments. <laughs> yeah. So, well, the <laughs> thing about it wasn't. on the computer after the stream. Yeah. He was literally it, the thing a about sweat. It, 